Hello everyone and welcome to this Stracon tutorial video. Here I will be taking you through different parts of the Stracon software. The first window that opens up when you open up the software is the drawing data window. Here you have several options such as creating a new drawing file, opening an existing drawing file with an extension .con. You can save the texts from this working directory or you can open the drawing text from another working directory. Here you set the work directory, which you can easily change. Let's say from project one, we change it to project two. Stracon informs us that there are two options when creating a model. It can be drawing model or a project model. The project model is primarily used when uh, there are several designers working on the same project model at the same time. The drawing model is the one that we will be using most of the time. So we create a new drawing model and Stracon creates all the administration files. We define the drawing name, let's call it test drawing. And we can also define some other drawing data such as contents, uh, author, client, project, and so on. We can also define the material data which includes the concrete and concrete cover, which can be easily defined here according to Eurocode standards. Uh, we define the exposure classes, which are defined according to Eurocode, and according to these exposure classes, the minimum concrete cover is then automatically calculated and you can lock it here and use it later in the drawing. All of these fields can be easily accessed later in the drawing by typing the code exclamation point and the number that you see here. So for free text 11 you type exclamation mark and number 211. Here you define the measurements of the drawing, which include the title block measurements and the sheet dimensions. You can use an existing format or define your own format. And you define also the scale of the main view. When you close the drawing data window, two windows are immediately opened up. First one is the Stracon Cube model, which we will focus on later. I will focus firstly on the main Stracon window, which is the 2D drawing. I will try to explain different tabs that are found here and the functions that can be accessed within them. In the File tab, you can define a new drawing, you can open an existing one, you can save it or close it send it by email, you can import and export different data ranging from AutoCAD formats to PDF and IFC. You can also change printer settings and print the drawing. In the Edit tab, you can uh, find functions such as Trim, Split, Move, Copy, Paste, Delete and similar. The view tab is used to modify your view using the zoom function. 2D design uh, tab enables you to define new uh, 2D shapes. You can define 2D dimensions, datum planes, texts, hatchings. You can draw new section in lines and so on. In the 3D design, you can access the cube model that I mentioned before and you can define new 3D objects, flex parts and so on. The reinforcement tab is where you can define new rebars that are drawn here in the 2D drawing. You can also modify them, delete them uh, and you can also modify and access some of the information of the 3D reinforcement that is drawn in the cube model. 
In the accessories, you can access some additional programs that are used within Stracon, and you can define and later access macro symbols, details, embedded parts, and so on. The unitization tab is mostly used for precast members. In the settings tab, you can access and modify all of the settings ranging from general ones to administration where you find settings for rebars, meshes and so on all the way to 2D design and 3D design settings, import settings, templates and you can also modify the drawing area and the toolbars here. In the miscellaneous window you will find the functions such as measure, layers administration and segment ad administration. In the window tab you can change between different drawings if you have them opened at the same time and you can split your drawing window. The last tab is used to access the help. You can access also all the manuals, all the brochures, the library and you can learn about your Stracon.